So we are going to make a pillowcase and our pillowcase has three different fabrics. We have our large piece of fabric, we have a small piece of fabric that is about an eighth of a yard and we have a medium piece of fabric that is a quarter of a yard. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take our large piece of fabric and we need to make sure that our edges are straight. So to do that, we want to fold our fabric so that it is smooth and that the selvages are lined up. And then what we need to do is we need to take a straight edge and go across here to make sure that our fabrics are straight. So we're going to fold this in half again so that my ruler will fit across that. And I'm just going to take a ruler and a pin and I'm going to find the shortest piece and I'm going to line the ruler up so that it is perpendicular to my side. So I'm gonna match up the end of the ruler with the edge of the fabric, and I'm going to make a line. And I'm gonna do that at both ends of the fabric, cutting off the least amount of fabric that I can to make sure that the edges are straight. Okay. All right, so I have my two lines. Now I'm gonna come with my scissors and cut through all those layers on that line that I drew. Now when I open that back up, I should have it straight across the edge. You need to do that for your small piece, making sure that you have straight edges for that one, as well as your large piece, making sure that when you fold it in half, that you have straight edges for that also. So the first thing we need to do to sew our pillowcase together is we need to take this piece of trim and we need to fold this in half along the length of the fabric, matching up our edges and folding it right side out. With our edges matched, we want to iron our piece of fabric in half all the way down the fabric. Okay, we are going to place our trim piece of fabric across the top edge of our big piece of fabric. And this is our selvage, and this is our cut edge. We want to lay that across so that our edges match all the way across. Lining up one edge, and it's okay if these edges don't match up exactly right now. We'll trim those later, okay? As you're doing this, you wanna make sure that if you have a direction to your fabric, that you're placing this at what would be considered the top of the fabric. We're going to pin this in place along the edge to make sure that the edges of our fabric stay lined up while we sew.
So we have it pinned, now we're ready to sew. Okay, so we're ready to stitch our trim piece to our fabric piece. So what we wanna do is at 5 eighths of an inch, we wanna use a basting stitch to do this first row of stitching. So we're just gonna, remember with basting, we do not back stitch. So we're just gonna start at the edge and we're gonna sew all the way down to sew this piece on. Make sure that you keep the edge of your fabric at 5 eighths of an inch. Okay, when we get to the end, we're not going to back stitch. We're just going to pull that off, cut our threads, and then you can remove your pins from your fabric. Okay, so we are taking our medium sized piece of fabric, our other contrast, and what we need to do is we need to fold up one of the long edges at 5 eighths of an inch and press that. So the way we're going to do that and make sure that it's 5 eighths of an inch is we're going to use our hem gauge. So our hem gauge is a short ruler with a slide that we can set for actually setting our measurement. So each of these lines on here is 1 eighth of an inch. So we want to set it at 5 eighths of an inch so that the slide is at the 5 eighths inch mark. And what we're going to do is we are going to, along the fabric, we're gonna place that in there so that when it folds, it hits that edge and comes to our slide to measure 5 eighths of an inch. We're gonna put a pin in there and we're gonna do that all the way down our fabric. Okay, now that we've pinned that all the way down, then we want to just iron that down. Now that it's ironed, we can pull out the pins. And now we're ready to sew. Okay, we're ready to sew or pin our top piece onto our pillowcase so that we can sew it. So what we want to do is we want to flip our pillowcase over so that the wrong side is up. Then we want to take our trim piece and place it so that the right side is down. So right side of trim to wrong side of fabric. So the portion that we just pinned and pressed up, we want that to be up and we want it to be at the bottom of our pillowcase. So the edge that we have not folded, we want to line that up with the top edge of our pillowcase. And we're going to pin that so that it stays in place 
while we sit. Okay, so we have that pinned on, and now we're ready to sew our top piece to our pillowcase. Okay, we're ready to sew the top piece onto the pillowcase. We want to set it at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance, regular stitch length, so make sure that you've reset your machine to a regular stitch length from the basting that we just did before. And we're going to back stitch to start our seam. And then we're going to stitch across the top of the pillowcase throughout the whole fabric to stitch the top layer onto the pillowcase. When we get to the end, we're going to back stitch and then we're going to cut our threads. Okay, so we have sewn the top piece on. Now we want to fold that up so it extends out over the edge and we want to press this up and flat so we get a nice, good crease there. Make sure it lays good and flat. over so that it's right side up and we want to take our top piece and where we have folded it down we want to take it so that the folded edge lies just over our seam that we have sewn so we just want to barely cover our seam and we want to pin that in place all the way down the fabric. Both of our ends are going to eventually line up to each other when we sew the pillowcase shut. So we want to make sure that when we lay it like this, that our lines are equal. So we want to make sure that we have the same amount of fold on each piece so that as we sew this seam shut, that these are going to line up nice and smooth. So if those are equal, then what you want to do is open this up and go ahead and press this piece, the top piece, so that it has a nice crease across the top. Okay. 
and now we're ready to stitch. Okay, so to sew the top piece down, what we're gonna do is we're going to top stitch as close to this folded edge as we can. So we're gonna need to back stitch, but we're going to want to put the needle as close to the edge as we can to make sure we get that sewn. So we're gonna back stitch. And then we're gonna sew as close to the edge as we can, all the way down the fabric. get to the edge we're going to back stitch and we're going to pull out our fabric and cut our threads <laughs> 